Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Dominic. I'm a local realtor here in San Diego. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the mystery of the 1031 exchange, a strategy that can potentially save you big on taxes. But before we get into that, if you find anything helpful in today's video, please feel free to like and subscribe. It goes a long way in helping grow this channel while also being free. So there's no reason not to. So first things first, what is a 1031 exchange? A 1031 exchange named after section 1031 of the US Internal Revenue Code allows you to defer paying capital gains taxes when you sell a property and then reinvest those proceeds from the sale within a certain time frame into a property or properties of like kind and equal or greater value. And when I say like kind property, what first comes to your head is probably an identical property. And that's not what that means. Selling vacant land, you can buy a condo. Selling a duplex, you can buy retail space. But to get the full tax benefit, the net market value and equity of the property purchase must be the same as or greater than the property sold. Otherwise, you'll be taxed on the difference. So in order to not get tax on this money, you can't touch it. This is the last robot, Squidward. No! Not my cash register! You cannot touch the money in between the sale and the purchase. An intermediary will hold on to it for you, and remember, they must be involved before the sale of the first property. So if you're thinking of doing a 1031 exchange, you should be planning this out probably months in advance. And one thing that's probably not known is you can actually use this to purchase multiple properties. You can sell one property and buy multiple replacements or vice versa, sell multiple and buy one. But the same rules apply. So one thing and one strategy that it's been used is selling like if you have a vacation home, second home, or a single condo rental, it's selling that and then using those those proceeds to purchase a duplex or quadplex and being able to use one unit if it's a vacation home and use that when you come down for vacationing. This all sounds great, right? But why would you want to do a 1031 exchange and what situation would you need to be in? The number one reason are the benefits. Deferral of taxes keep more money working for you, putting it into another property without having to pay the capital gains. Number two is the portfolio growth. It allows for a strategic movement within the market that's going to help build your portfolio portfolio by maybe adding multifamilies or just upgrading from a smaller rental to a bigger one. And number three is the flexibility, shifting from properties requiring less management to move markets altogether. There's a lot to take in when talking about a 1031 exchange, but a successful 1031 exchange is a game changer for real estate investments. If you're looking to get into real estate investing, learning 1031 exchange is going to be necessary. Many billionaires and multimillionaires who've grown their portfolio through real estate and rental properties have done it using this same strategy. If you're thinking of doing a 1031 exchange, always consult a tax professional and a real estate agent to help guide you through this process. If you found this video helpful at all, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. If you wanna learn everything about San Diego, make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you stay up to date. And if you have any further questions, feel free to get into contact with me. All my contacts are gonna be in the description below. You can text, call, email, Zoom, we got it all. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But that's all I have for you today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.